Hello everyone, Brandon here with gdntbasics.com. Today's question comes from Gilroy, and he has asked, Hi, I'm wondering, how come for the first question for EDB-EX06 exercise, the answer is first angle? Let's take a look at that. Gilroy has taken the time to do a screenshot and provided this in his question, which is great. This really helps us out. Uh, we're able to zero right in on the question and know without having to go back into the course to see where it is. So he has also circled uh, question number one up here. So you'll see that up here uh, on this question, it says, is this drawing using first or third angle projection? And what he put on here was, why did you call this first angle? So notice that the, the symbol that's right here does match what is down in the title block down here. And you can see, just looking at this part of it, uh, the way that is projected off to the right, the small diameter is over here to furthest to the right, and the large diameter is closest to the view that it's projecting from. This does indicate uh, that it is first angle. Whether it's on the right hand side or the left hand side, um, we, we see it both ways and it, it, it will be both ways. You will see it both different directions. But you have to look at where the smaller diameter is really to determine whether it's first angle or third angle. On this particular exercise, now this is an exercise that is an engineering drawing basics course and uh, the students work through this. The, the importance of the projection angle on this drawing is down here in detail A. Uh, all of the lines represented in this are hidden lines. And it is pulled off of this, which typically most of us here, at least in the United States, we're dealing with third angle. So if you look at this drawing and you were thinking that it was third angle, then the way that this would be projected out with those being hidden lines you would think that the engraving here would be on this surface, uh, when in fact it is not on that surface due to the fact that it's first angle projection, it is on this surface here. Quite misleading though for people here in the United States that are used to third angle. And some of you may not deal with first angle at all, which is uh, makes your job a lot easier. But a lot of people do have to deal with companies overseas, especially companies in Germany, um, over in Europe, whatnot, where they are using a first angle projection, you really got to pay close attention to this. And uh, next slide here, we're going to take a look at the salad bowl method projection, which really helps to clear things up. So on the salad bowl projection here, um, now this is pulled right out of the course, but on this example right here, I'm going to try to go through this quickly for you guys, but they set it up. They have this part here and uh, it's called a 3D printer uh, heating head and they show it right here this top view and this is this is how we're going to look at it over here in the in the actual bowl so this is the same view as this one here so it's the top view uh, the way that they have it set up here and notice that on third angle and we are dealing with third angle here we're just going to go through third angle and then we'll go over to first angle to make sure that everybody gets this uh, but it is sitting inside of the bowl and as they project it, they're going to go through here, pull it up. Now, if, notice on this one, you don't see a slit or a slot on this view. Uh, look up here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, in this isometric view here, there is a little slot right here. So as it's projected over here to the left, you do not see that. So the way that they do this with a salad bowl is they slide it to the left. Um, you're looking at that end there. And then they're going to throw it over here for the left view. So now you'll see it right in here, it's gonna pop up. It's gonna do this with all of these. It's gonna throw them in here so that you can see each of the projections. So then it just repeats for the right view, but they pull it up on the right hand side. Um, now look up here, you do see that slot in here. So they have added that in now. So that will be over here on the right side. You can see up here that it's sitting right there. So they're gonna throw that one in there. And there's the slot in there. You can see it clearly. So they put, put the part back down in the bottom of the bowl here, looking at the top view again. 
and then they're going to slide it up the back side of the bowl. Now you can see uh, in this view right here, you've got your through hole with the slot. But uh, look back up here at, at this isometric view again, if you will. See how there is a second hole up here? Um, we don't see that in this, in this projection. Uh, not when we're looking at this uh, top. Not the front, but the actual top. So they're going to throw that into, into our drawing here. So now they have the proper view down in here. And then they're going to put it back down into the bottom of the bowl. Looking looking here at it from the <clears throat> from the top of the front view. Now they're gonna pull it down, they slide it up. Now we can see that tap hole. So we can see the tap hole in there now. Um, and th this does create all of the four projected views. So they slide it back down here, put it in the bottom. Now this is third angle, remember, this is third angle. So now we're just gonna move over here into the first angle. And uh, this is a nice note up here. First angle, it's for the rest of the world. So they flip the bowl here. So notice we're not sitting inside of the bowl anymore. They flip the bowl over. Now we're sitting on top of the bowl. And we'll work through this one here real quick. And you can just see how this one, how the part slides around on the bowl and creates these views. So it slid down the bowl to the left side here. Now notice, compared to third angle, you do see this slot in here now um, because it just slid over or it tilted over to the left. So we see the slot now, whereas in the third angle, we didn't see it because when it, when it gets projected to the left, it goes under. So that creates that left side view and they throw it in their drawing over there. So they reposition the part back up to the top and now they slide the bowl over or the part over to the, the right of the bowl and then they throw that view in there into the drawing. So they pull it back up here on top of the bowl. Now we're looking at it again here in the same oriented view. And then they slide down the, I call it the back side, but they slide down, they slide up and over, and then throw that view in here into the drawing. So now on this one where this is different than the third angle is now we do see the tapped hole in this view. So that tapped hole is right there with the through hole and the slot. Remember, that wasn't like that in the third. We were seeing the opposite side. They reposition back up to the top and then slide it down uh, closer towards us. Slide it down to the bottom and now they're going to throw that view in there. So there are the four proper views for first angle. Okay, guys, so um, hopefully that, that clears that up, uh, the difference between fir first angle and third angle. And for Gilroy, um, I hope this explains this for you quite well. Uh, that drawing did have the right projection angle symbol on it, uh, but the cone was over to the right. That does throw a lot of people off because a lot of people think the cone must be, if it's third angle to the right, if it's first angle to the left, uh, that's not entirely true. It, back in the day, that was a, uh, like a best practice where if it was first angle, they would put the cone to the left. Uh, but again, you're just looking at where that big diameter is versus the small diameter on that plug symbol on there. Look for, look for that, and it doesn't matter how they project it. You'll always know the difference between first angle and third angle. Thanks, guys. Keep checking out our videos. I hope this helps. Um, we'll be releasing another one shortly. Thank you.